Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at family types and unions. Now, first up we'll have the nuclear family type. This is a family that consists of an adult couple whether married or in a consensual union living together with their children. Children of a nuclear family can be either biological offspring of one or both of the adults or can be adopted as well. I think this is what people call a perfect family, a mom, a dad, and kids. Now we're moving on to number two, which is the extended family. This family extends way beyond a nuclear family. This includes numerous generations of family members living together under the same roof or close by. No, within the extended family, person sometimes gets married and that husband or wife lives together with their partner's parents as well as their uncle, aunts, sisters, brothers with their children, right? It doesn't stop there. Roles and responsibilities are assigned to everyone within this type of family, just like any other family type. Now, this is mostly common within the Indian family in the Caribbean. So you, so you really get the point. This is a whole lot of persons living together, right? So moving on to number three, which is sibling household. The sibling household is also a type of family. This is where the younger siblings are being nurtured by their older brother or sister based on the absence of both parents. Uh, this is where the older brother or sister takes care of their younger siblings' needs, such as financially, spiritually, emotionally, etc. What they basically do is a parent's job by providing and caring for the family in the absence of both parents. This could be because parents are deceased, imprisoned, or simply away from home in search of a job. So we're now moving on to number four, which is a single parent family. A single parent family is a family with only one parent present. This could be for various reasons. This is where you have one parent as your guardian. This might be the result of a, um, numerous reasons, such as um, a two parent family being separated for whatever reason or it could be migration of one parent or it could also be because of death or the fact that one parent does not wish to be um, a part of the child's life. This type of family is usually headed by the female parent within the Caribbean. Last but not least is the blended or reorganized family. A blended family consists of both adults couple with children from previous relationship into their new family. This is basically a family with two adults who decides to be in a relationship who has children from previous relationship. Right? So therefore these children are, um, they can be called um, stepbrothers and sisters. Now we'll be moving on to changing family structures in these family types we have the african caribbean family structure the african caribbean family structure which is headed mostly by grandmothers these roles are very important roles which would make um, the family structure a uh, matrifocal structure this happens because of course sometimes fathers are not present and sometimes children are sent to live with their grandmothers the next one would be the indian caribbean family the indian caribbean family structure as we know is headed by the male this type of structure is really coming from indian culture being brought into the caribbean so um, this is headed by male, so it's really patrifocal. Now, 
last but not least is a Chinese family structure or Chinese Caribbean family structure now in this family structure the Chinese language and the culture are normally practiced and preserved within the Caribbean right so that's basically it for changing family structures now we're moving on to unions within the Caribbean first union would be legal marriage legal marriage this can be defined as a union between two persons recognizable by law now types of legal marriages first we would have monogamy monogamy is when a person has one husband or wife second we have polygamy right when someone is involved with more than one husband or wife third we have polyandry a woman having more than one husband fourth is polygyny a man having more than one wife well I hope you guys got that don't go mixing them up though um, take time to know them it's easy to mix up because um, they sound alike but just take time to know them very important okay so we're moving on to the second type of union which is called the consensual or common law unions now this union is when two persons live together as a couple and as sexual relations but they're not married right now the common law union otherwise known as a consensual union is basically two persons living together like a married couple having sexual relations and all but are really not legally married the third type of union would be the visiting relationship now this type of union is one where the couple does not live together but instead visits each other's residence now this can be looked at as a relationship where one person visits the other person's residence and this could be on the basis of financial support or personal satisfaction such as sexual relations right okay guys that's it for now Thanks for watching.